determine all the potential roots of 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 8x plus 3. To do this, we have to apply the rational zeros theorem, which tells us that if p over q is a root of p of x, where p of x is a polynomial with integer coefficients, then p is a factor of the constant term, and q is a factor of the leading coefficient. So let's start by determining the factors of the constant term and leading coefficient. So 3, the constant term, has potential factors of plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 3. The leading coefficient has factors plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 2. Don't forget the plus and minus. Okay, so our possible p values are plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 3, and our possible q values are plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 2. Now we have to combine these numbers, uh, all the p's and q's, in all the possible combinations to determine all the potential roots. The way that I like to do this is to just look at the absolute values of the p's and q's, combine them that way, and then add plus and minus. So our potential p over q's are, let's start with uh, the plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 1 here. Um, so we have 1 over 1, and then like I said, I like to add the plus or minus afterwards. So our first potential value is plus or minus 1 over 1, or just plus or minus 1. Then I'll move to the next p-value, 3, and stick with the same q-value, 1. So our next potential value is 3 over 1. Again, don't forget the plus or minus. Next, I'll go back to the 1 in the p-value and move to the 2 in the q-value. So we'll have 1 over 2. Again, we'll add a plus or minus. And then I'll move to the 3 in the p-value and remain with the 2 in the q-value to leave us with 3 over 2. Again, that is plus or minus. Okay, now performing some simplification. Our potential p over q's, or potential roots, are plus or minus 1, since 1 over 1 is just 1, plus or minus 3, since 3 over 1 is just 3, plus or minus a half, and then plus or minus 3 halves. Okay, those are all the potential roots of this polynomial. So from here, if you wanted to factor the polynomial or determine its roots, you could plug these in and see if they are roots.